During the 1960s, Sandy Dennis became well known for her acting skills. She had a unique voice and a different way of approaching her roles, which made her stand out in the movie world. People remember her for her interesting habits and how dedicated she was to acting. I'd love to hear your favorite memories or stories about her too. And don't forget to keep watching this video for more surprising, funny, and sometimes sad facts. In the world of acting, there was a remarkable talent whose performances left audiences captivated. Their ability to bring characters to life with depth and authenticity was truly extraordinary. They were known for pushing boundaries and challenging norms, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Their work continues to inspire present and future generations of performers, reminding us of the power of storytelling to connect us all. Their dedication, pursuit of excellence, and commitment to authenticity set a standard that few can match. Through their performances, they transported audiences into different worlds, leaving them spellbound by the depth of their portrayal. Their influence extends far beyond any single performance, shaping the way we view storytelling and the human experience. Their name will always be associated with innovation, courage, and artistry, inspiring generations of performers to come. As we celebrate their life and work, let us remember the profound impact they had on the world of acting and may their legacy continue to inspire creativity and passion for years to come. Skipping the Oscars despite winning for her role in a renowned film, the actor made headlines with her bold decision. In one movie, she shared the screen with Bud Court, who played a memorable role as a student. Later, both actors reunited for another film, showcasing their chemistry once again. Their performances received praise, showing how talented actors can shine together. The decision to skip the Oscar ceremony stirred discussions about fame and personal values in Hollywood. This actor, known for her independent spirit, used her platform to emphasize authenticity in an industry often focused on superficiality. In the first film, the chemistry between her and Bud Court added depth to the story. Their collaboration hinted at potential future partnerships, which indeed came to fruition. It was proof of the enduring connections formed in Hollywood. The previous collaboration between the actor and Graham Jarvis paved the way for their work together in another film. Their performances highlighted the magic that occurs when talented actors come together. Looking back, this actor's career was not just about exceptional performances, but also about bold choices on and off the screen. Her influence went beyond awards, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. This narrative, seen through various films and collaborations, reflects a career defined by passion, integrity, and artistry, a lasting inspiration for many. In Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? She portrayed Honey, a role that earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, the only Oscar nomination for her in her career. It was a significant achievement for both her and her co-star George Siegel, who also received his sole Oscar nomination for the film. Later in her career, she appeared as Mrs. Roberts in The Indian Runner, which marked her final film role. In this movie, she acted alongside a notable cast, including Patricia Arquette, Benicio Del Toro, Dennis Hopper, and Viggo Mortensen, all of whom either won or were nominated for Academy Awards. The film itself received critical acclaim for its performances and direction. These roles stand as lasting reminders of Sandy Dennis' talent and contribution to the film industry. In 1961, she clinched the Theatre World Award for her outstanding Broadway debut. Following this early success, she ventured into the world of film, taking on the role of Marjorie Worden in Something Evil. Despite some skepticism about casting choices, her portrayal of the distressed mother added a captivating touch to the storyline. Notably, Johnny Whittaker, known for his role in Family Affair, played alongside her, creating an interesting dynamic in the film. Transitioning back to the stage, she tackled the character of Maggie the Cat in a stage production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. This role, previously inhabited by her, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf Cove star Elizabeth Taylor in the film adaptation, showcased her versatility as an actress. These experiences highlight Sandy Dennis's ability to seamlessly navigate between Broadway and film, leaving a lasting impression with each performance. In a tale of talent, an early success, Sandy Dennis, the youngest of three siblings, became widely known for her outstanding role in a famous movie. She earned an Oscar for her performance even before her first leading part in another well-known film. This movie made history by receiving nominations in every possible category at the Academy Awards, showcasing her incredible skills to the world. It was clear that her talent was limitless as she effortlessly brought characters to life on the big screen. Her ability to captivate audiences with her detailed performances solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. 
Through her dedication and passion for the craft, she left a lasting impression on the world of cinema, inspiring generations of aspiring actors and actresses. Her influence continues to be felt in the hearts of movie enthusiasts worldwide, proving that genuine talent has no boundaries. Truly, Sandy Dennis's impact on the silver screen remains unparalleled, her name forever remembered in the history of cinema. In the early 1960s, a talented actress made waves in the world of theater, securing two consecutive Tony Awards. In 1963, she was named Best Supporting or Featured Actress for her role in a production called A Thousand Clowns. The following year, she took home the Best Actress Award for her performance in another play titled Any Wednesday. These victories set the stage for her later success in film, including an Oscar-winning role in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Later on, she appeared in a movie called Something Evil, alongside notable actors like Steven Spielberg, Ralph Bellamy, and Margaret Avery. This film added depth to the cast and showcased her versatility. In a curious turn of events, a 2018 Vanity Fair profile revealed details about her former fiancé's engagement ring returning to him. Allegedly, the relationship faltered when she declined to set up an animal shelter for the many stray cats living in their shared home. These glimpses into her career and personal life reveal a woman of talent and conviction, leaving a lasting impact on both stage and screen. Rising to fame through captivating performances on screen, the talented actor found her breakthrough in that cold day in the park. The role of Frances Austin, initially turned down by Ingrid Bergman, was suggested by Vanessa Redgrave. Interestingly, despite often referring to Jerry Mulligan as her husband, they were never officially married. In the renowned film Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, she left a lasting impression as Honey. On set, spirited competitions unfolded between her and Dame Elizabeth Taylor, each aiming to produce the loudest belch. Dennis consistently emerged victorious in these light-hearted contests. Her contributions to cinema are memorable, showcasing unique talents that have become a part of the industry's history. In the world of film, there are timeless classics and memorable performances that stick with audiences for years. One such actress made her mark in various roles, showcasing her talent and versatility. From portraying Gwen Kellerman in a comedy about city mishaps to bringing depth to the character Kay in a poignant drama, she left an indelible impression. Another notable role was as Sylvia Barrett in a film that delved into the challenges of education. These movies, spanning different genres and themes, all featured this remarkable actress alongside other talented performers. Whether it was comedy, drama, or a thought-provoking story, her presence elevated each film. It's a testament to her skill and range as an actor, leaving a lasting legacy in cinema. In the realm of cinema, there are moments that stand out, performances that leave a lasting impression on audiences. Think about the actors who bring characters to life on screen, captivating us with their talent and presence. Take, for instance, an actress whose work in two well-known films continues to be celebrated. In one movie, she played alongside renowned actors, while in another, she shared the screen with legends. Her performances were so memorable that they earned her and her co-star prestigious awards, even though they weren't present to accept them. These instances speak volumes about her skill and influence in the film industry, leaving an enduring impact on viewers and critics alike. It's clear that her contributions to cinema will not be forgotten anytime soon. In the realm of acting, there existed a practitioner of the method technique whose performances often revealed her inner anxieties through her physical expressions. This actor's portrayal could either mesmerize or push away viewers. Interestingly, this actor's brother, who sadly passed away in 2017, had a remarkable life as a structural engineer and a veteran of both World War II and the Korean War. The actor in question took on the role of Sylvia Barrett in a particular movie set in Benjamin Franklin High School, which has since been transformed into the Center for Mathematics and Science. On the DVD cover, the building is prominently featured with the actor in the foreground. In a memorable performance, actors alongside iconic figures like Elizabeth Taylor experienced remarkable moments. Despite her background in theater, Taylor's command of the cinematic craft impressed her co-stars. Alongside Richard Burton and others, they admired her expertise in navigating film acting's complexities. Notable figures like Peter Fonda, Dustin Hoffman, and James Caan also began their television careers on the same platform. The performer stands among the few to achieve back-to-back -back Tony wins for outstanding acting prowess. Her wins in 1963 and 1964 for A Thousand Clowns and Any Wednesday respectively cement her status as a distinguished talent in the theater world.